Greetings, my brothers and sisters. This is another episode of the Life is Speedy show. Your boy is back in full effect. Um, your boy been uh been climbing high in the spiritual realm, and uh, I just want to touch base on a few things, and I I just want to tell you a little story about how I became this clairvoyant and you know, well-rounded and grounded king, I would say, about myself. Because this shit right here, this shit didn't... Okay. This shit right here, the wisdom, the... the whatever you want to call it, the knowledge... And me being so in tune with myself didn't come easy. Now, let me tell you guys, growing up, I was a hyperactive kid. I'm pretty sure a lot of people were hyperactive kids. And I was classified as ADD, uh, put in special ed classes. And this is something that most people don't know. I was in special ed class, like, growing up most of my life. That's something that is let out the bag. I was in special ed from third grade to, like, Shit, I ain't gonna lie, like, damn it. Well, all the way through high school, too. Shit, like, I was in special ed class. I, like, special ed classes, bro. I'm not even gonna hold y'all, like, for real, for real. This is something I never really tell people about. But, nonetheless, I didn't, I didn't let that classification hinder who I was. Because I felt like I knew who I was all along, deep down inside. Although, like, I was... Back then, during those times, I didn't know myself. I didn't know I would become this person now. I did have a sight, though. Like, I I saw a light in myself from when I was a kid. I could tell you that one. I always felt like I could overcome a lot of things. And I felt like I always had that humble beast type of spirit in me. So, like, I always would, um, I would always, like, use things as motivation to, you know, propel me forward towards clairvoyance and being more in tune with myself so i just want to tell y'all when i was a kid man like i didn't know how to stay still and like as i grew up i i never knew how to master the art of being still being still in the sense of like channeling my mental fortitude and testing my mental fortitude and challenging myself spiritually from the inside out not from the outside in now you always hear the you always hear the saying, "Yo, man." Well, I would say this: a lot of people know me as the person that's always on the move, right? I'm always doing stuff. I'm always active. Yes, that is true. But you have no idea how active I am on the inside. Like, you ever watch Dragon Ball Z? You see Goku turn Kaioken and Super Saiyan. I'm Super Saiyan. I'm look. Kaioken times 100, Super Saiyan God mode, Super Saiyan Blue, I would say, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, all in one. Like, it's, it's not even funny. Like, when I'm tapped in on the inside, it is it's, it's very intense, which is why, like, I'm put it like this. The reason why I'm so tapped in on the inside, I'm, I'm, the reason why I'm so active on the inside is because of the power and energy I have from the inside. Everything that I channel from the interior, it becomes a exterior reality. So all the power um, and all the energy and I'm putting into my studies to feed my mental, to feed my spirituality, to feed my clairvoyance, to feed everything... I literally, literally, literally turns that turn it into a physical reality. And it's very it's vigorous work at its finest. Like, I can't lie to y'all. As much as as active as I am in a gym and on a football field, yeah, when I'm home, and this is this is golden nuggets for y'all because most people don't know this about me. But because I don't really tell people, but I'm telling y'all because I feel like it's on my spirit to let people, certain people know. Some will, some won't, so what? Someone's listening. That's my saying. You know, it don't matter. Somebody gonna hear this. But point is, 
the reason, the way that I got this clairvoyant and, and the reason why I'm so active is not because I'm just active. It's because my spirit is active and my mind is always active. I'm always learning. I'm always looking for things to learn. I'm always looking for things to gather. And I feel as though my physical form is a reflection of my internal form, you know, of my mental and spiritual form. So because I am so active on the inside, I will be active on the outside like that. But I'm way more active on the inside because first comes the mind, then comes the body, you know? So when you understand that fact and that law of life and you understand those type of those type of uh, things in life, well, you'll you'll grow a better appreciation for you being more in tune with yourself and actually being laid back. I think it's way better to be laid back than anti. I'm very reserved. I'm I'm super reserved, like especially under pressure or anything like that. Like I'm, I'm very reserved. I never panic about anything, especially in life. Like, I never, whenever there's little bumps in the road in life, I really stay grounded to the craziest extent ever. I don't think anybody can ever outground me. <laughs> I don't think anybody could. That's just me personally, personally speaking. Maybe there is people like that, but because people do go through way more shit than you, than anyone, than me, you know? But for me, for my, I can speak for my personal, my personal legend. Nobody's more grounded than me. I don't care. I don't care. And it's because of the mental and, and the spiritual preparation that I put myself through. I put myself through way more harder work mentally and, phys- and spiritually than I do physically. It is, it, is, it is a war zone in my brain. And I really never, ever lose. I don't think I ever lose. Ever. 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 I lose all the time on the physical, in the physical realm. I take all the L's I can... I take all the L's in the physical realm before I take any L's in the mental realm. I use my physical my figures, my physical form as the shield. It's going to take all the bumps. But my mental, my spirit, my, my spiritual form, bro, nobody touching that. Untouchable. Nothing's touching that. Nothing. I've ever, ever, ever. And I don't think anything ever will. I think that's why I'm so electric around people. I feel like I'm really a, an electric being. Like, I really feel that. I had some guy tell me in the gym. I was in the gym recently talking to him. You know what I'm saying? We we, we hitting it all perfectly. We talking about everything touching base. He was like, yo, man. He's t-. And, I, and mind you, he's 41 years old, 42. He's like, yo, man, I don't know, man. There's something about you, man. I, I, I feel an electric feeling from you. This is not me gloating. This is real. I hear this on a. I hear this a lot from people, bro. I just don't really speak about it because I don't like gloating myself. Because I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm humble like that, you know. And I love being that way. And I'm gonna continue to be that way. But I am confident in myself. That's one thing I would say about myself. I'm very confident within myself. Confident in, in the things that I, I, you know, confident comes with not, not not being confident at one point. I wasn't confident at all in myself. I grew. I had to grow the confidence, you know. So, I'm just saying, man, stay tapped in, right, mentally, so you could tap out physically. You get what I'm saying? You could tap out of the, you could stay tapped in mentally and spiritually, so you could tap out the mental form and, and make it a physical reality, you know? Because we are, we are really inside, like, listen, this quote, man, that I, that I, that I, that I picked up, man, from somebody. It says, I am not the flesh. I am the energy, consciousness, the being in the flesh. Let me repeat that again for you. I am not the flesh, but I am the energy, the consciousness, the being in the flesh. This blob of meat that we in, this glob of meat that we in, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing complete compared to what's inside and i think this is why you know i am the way i am and a a lot of people admire the way i am because they don't understand this shit they don't they they see it from a third dimensional view and i see it from a fourth dimensional view you know when you're tapped into the third dimension you really can't see things you can't see much things you don't have your peripheral visions on 
You don't have, you know what I'm saying? You got to turn your vision to a, you got to turn, you got to turn yourself into a fourth dimensional being. When you turn yourself into a fourth dimensional being, you're way more clairvoyant. You could, you could foresee a lot of things. You could predict a lot of things. You're more tapped into the universe than you ever have been ever, ever. Yo, bro, it'd be times when I go outside. I'm going to tell y'all, like, I'm, t- yo, I be going outside, bro. I'm so tapped in to the point, like, I'm, I'm into nature, too. And this, and this is coming along with my spiritual journey, too, on top of me com- converting into vegan. So, and it's not a placebo. This is really facts. Like, what you put in your body really turns into a physical reality, and it shows, bro, and it, and it spews, and, it, and it, I'm telling you, it reeks of awesomeness. Yo, I be speaking to the birds, bro. Nah, like I really be speaking to the birds, bro. Like when I'm when I when I leave my crib in the morning and they chirping, bro, I be like, what up? What up, yo? Like I hear you talking. I'm talking to you back. Like I'm call me call me weird, but I I call myself in tune. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. I'm in tune into. I'm tapped in. I'm tapped all the way in. Like I admire nature. I remember, bro, like, like honestly. I don't know if it, I remember I was at work one day, my, my, one of my other jobs, I parked my car, right, I parked it, I parked it ass, like, I parked it ass first, so, like, I backed into the parking spot, in the parking lot, I get out my car, I go to my, I'm going in my trunk, as I'm going to my trunk, behind my car, it was a, it was a bird, like, it was a, it was a pretty yellow ass bird, like, a, priv- a baby, a little pretty yellow ass bird like tweety almost like tweety bird you know laying there like fighting for his life i'm late already for work as it is man listen you think i think i cared about work at that time i'm looking i'm really hurt by this shit and this is like what comes with being a fourth dimensional being bro like you become an empath in sort of way to certain things to certain like living species even like animals and stuff like that and and people, especially people, because you are a person, so you're more of an impact to a person because you can relate to a, you know, to a, a higher degree than you can an animal or some type of bird or something. But nonetheless, you're still an empath. And yo, I promise you, like, I was with that bird, like, try. I helped it up, like, I picked it up, I brought it to shade. It and, pro- and mind you, it was hot as hell outside. It was trying to move. It was moving around still, but it, it was hurt, like, it was. It was wounded. I don't think it was because of me because, come on, like, it was, it wasn't nowhere near the wheel of my car. It was, like, literally smack dab in the back of the, like, my car. The back bottom bumper, like, right there. And it was very small, so I doubt I hit it. Get what I'm saying? So, I picked it up. I put it into some shade. And I'm sitting there, and every time I will put it, like, I will put it down... It, I will touch it. I will pick it up. I will put it down. It will like flap its wings to try to get up and fly and move away. You know, I, I, I do the best I can to try to bring it to shelter. I put it under a, a bush where some shade is. It was hot, and you know, and it was a guy watching me do it. And I was like, I, after I did it, I was like, Yo, bro, like I, you know, what I'm saying this is like I feel bad, man. You know, he was like, Damn, bro. You know what I'm saying. I, I know he felt what I, I he don't think I don't think he felt what I felt, but he he looked at it as like yeah that's fucked up. But did he like he didn't care like I would care. You get what I'm saying? So and that's that's no knock to the guy. You know what I'm saying? Power to him. You know what I'm saying? Because he was like damn man, is, is it good? Like you know what I'm saying? He was you know asking questions. That's okay. I went into work. I came back out. It was still there. I went into work. I came back out like another hour to check on it. Well, I came to my car really. But I, I, I also had it in the back of my mind to check on it. The bird was gone. I don't know. Look, listen, I'm not I'm not saying that I'm not saying maybe I helped it in a way and it flew. It got up and was able to fly. But the bird was gone when I got out there like three hours later. I don't know how it did. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how, I don't know what happened, but the bird was gone. I don't know if somebody came and picked it up. I don't know if another, the mother came and said, come on, we going home. 
I don't know, but the bird was gone, bro. Maybe it was the power of of, of my my spirit and and my I don't know what it was. It could have been that. It could have just been somebody came and picked it up themselves. You know what I'm saying? But the point is, is that when you a fourth dimensional person, you tapped in like that, you do things like that. You do things like that. You give. You give your love and you give your compassionate and empathy to other living species and people and things and stuff like that, you know? I gave my yo, I gave my empathy to a damn bird, bro. A dying bird. A dying yellow pretty ass bird. I gave my empathy to a bird, bro. I don't care. I don't care what nobody got to say about that shit. I don't care. All I care about is me and how I'm disseminating my empathy to other people living and th- living things and stuff like that. I don't care. And that's all starting from within my spirit, my pure, kind spirit with my tough ass mind that I have. It's a mixture of both. And that's why I like about myself, because more power to me, man, I could have been. I, I still could have been I'm still tra- I'm bro I'm like in third grade right now to this when it comes to this being clairvoyant and tapped in shit I'm not even yo I'm nowhere yet I'm moving my way up every damn day by 1%. You know my saying there's 365 days in a year and we looking to get better by 1% so by the end of the year you'll be better by 365%. I take three hundred. I I take three sixty five over a hundred any day. If you if you better by a hundred percent when a year is over, that means you took a hundred and and a hundred and I don't know how many days off, but you took a hundred and some days off. You took mad days off. You took days off. That's a hundred, almost two hundred something days. That's two hundred sixty five days. I'm bugging right now. I, I look. I ain't good at math. I don't give a fuck though. I am good at math, but right now my mind is focused on this message. I'm, I'm, I'm slow. I told y'all special ed. <laughs> but listen, that means you took 265 days off if you only better by 100. percent I'm look. Give me the whole 365. I want it. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm every day. Every day. If I'm, I could take a week off. I'm not doing shit. Just like this week. For instance, this whole week, bro, I haven't been doing nothing. Little to no act. No, matter of fact, I'm sorry. Last week, I haven't been doing anything. Like, I, little to no activity. Because, I, you know, I had a concussion, so I had to sit out. I was forced. I was forced to just chill. But what you think I did in those times of solitude? What you think I did? Can anybody guess? What you think I did? You know what I did. You know what I you know what I did. It's a no brainer. I built myself up mentally and this week I had a head start and then I got another week off coming up this week. I got three weeks of off, just off time to myself to build myself back up. I got playoffs next week. I'm tapping in. I don't care. I'm speaking into existence because I've been thinking this way since I got the concussion. I've been thinking like this ever since I got the concussion, how I'm gonna tap in. I've been saying it to myself and like within myself for like two weeks already. I'm literally spewing it out right now. That's two weeks of just built up energy that I'm spewing out. So I got a, another week of just keeping it inside so I could spew it out in a physical form on a football field, which I believe is going to happen with conviction. And I could say that to anybody looking them dead and square right in their pupils. Because I know. I know the power of within. The power of within comes without. So, I just wanted to spread a message to y'all. That was my spirit talking right there, man. So, you guys take that and take it and run with it and, and chop it up, mix it up, spit it up into your own little thing. Because that's just my story about, you know. Not my story, but you know what I had to just say. It was wisdom spreading, man. I got—I feel like I was supposed to say it. So, just remember, man. Just remember to stay grounded, cause that's how I stay grounded. You guys, probably wondering how I stay grounded. That's how I stay grounded. All right. So, I'm going in the house, cause I—I got—I got. I got I'm busy tomorrow, so. Got to get some rest. 
Just remember, man, life is speedy, so go always, man. Peace and love, y'all.